Hi, this is Alex with Simple DSLR, and in this video I want to talk about f-stop, or also known in photography as stops of light. This is a quick definitions video on f-stop, so if you've watched more online video tutorials and the term was thrown around but not explained, well, you'll have it here. If you're starting out in photography, chances are you've heard the term f-stop. It's most commonly used when photographers are talking about aperture settings because they're named f-numbers, but at its core, a stop is a measure of light. Take a look at this scene here. It's now only being illuminated by one light. If I turn on the second light, essentially doubling the amount of light, I've increased the light by one stop. So anytime you're changing the amount of light by doubling or reducing by half, you're essentially changing by one stop of light. It's really that simple. Now a camera is designed to control the amount of light that comes in before it gets captured and turned into an image. And there are three mechanisms in your camera that do that. We all know they're the shutter, aperture, and ISO. If you're not familiar with these, I'll tell you at the end of the video where you can get more information on them, so that way this will make sense. If we look at their values, they directly relate to stops of light. For example, let's look at some of the shutter speed values. When cycling through the speed values in your camera, take note that when they're increased by doubling the numbers or reduced by half, you're changing by one stop of light. It's pretty intuitive for the shutter. If you double the amount of time that the shutter is open for, you essentially double the amount of light coming in. It's the same as adding a second light of the same amount of power. The same is true for the ISO. If you're changing the values by multiples of two, you'll increase or decrease by one stop. This also applies to the f-stop aperture settings, except they don't follow this easy rule of thumb of multiples of two, but they also represent changes of stops of light. You'll just have to memorize them. Looking at this scene again, only one of the lights is illuminating our subject. I put the camera into manual mode to demonstrate this. That way the shutter, aperture, and ISO can only be changed manually. Now if I turn on the second light of equal power, we're essentially doubling the light in the scene, and you'll see a change on the light meter by one stop. By the way, the scale on the camera's light meter represents stops of light. One stop, two stops, and so on. So now we've overexposed the image by one stop but by reducing either shutter, aperture, or ISO by one stop, we'll achieve the same thing with our image. For example, if we increase the shutter speed by doubling from this to that, what we've done is reduce the amount of time that the shutter is open for by half the time. So we're getting half the light as we were getting before, therefore canceling out the second extra light. This applies to aperture and ISO the same way. Change your aperture f-stop number by one and you'll get a one stop light difference. Dial back your ISO by one stop and you'll have a one stop change. It's that simple. Doubling or reducing by half the amount of light represents one stop of light. Well that's it on f-stop. If you want more videos like this explaining the basics of photography, like the stuff we talked about earlier, shutter aperture and ISO, check out my website simpledslr.com. There's more videos there all in one place and you'll find a link in the description of this video that'll take you there. Check it out and thank you for watching.